And Saskatchewan Government Airways was one of the huge players back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and we haven't been able to get our hands on any of their airplanes, and this is the first one, and that's why this airplane is so significant to us. The help that we receive from the communities, including Buffalo Narrows, Dillon, and particularly Michelle Village, was absolutely phenomenal. They saw us out there on the ice in action, and these people come en masse and we're a huge, huge part of the recovery. And as a matter of fact, it would have never happened without their help. Two artifacts that the family were really looking for, a watch and a ring wore by the pilot. And the watch was found, the ring wasn't found, and they were a little bit disappointed, but when you look at the size of the lake and how much mud there was down there, they kind of gave up looking and were, didn't think they were gonna find it. And lo and behold, when the airplane came out of the ice, here was the ring laying on a piece of this wing and one of the local people just happened to uh, spot it and grabbed it and quickly took it over to the family members and it was very emotional. We need some financial support. We got uh, a GoFundMe page going and we're hoping that people will get on board and, and help us with that because we we still have to pay for this recovery, and uh, hopefully, uh, like I said, we'd like to rebuild the airplane down the road, so it'd be nice for us to be able to get some help in that regard. Mm -hmm.